What is going on guys? It's the Mayor Dragon. We are back in Grounded today. We've got a lot that I want to do today and I really enjoy playing Grounded. I always go through sort of waves of this game where I don't play it for ages and then I come back to it and I just can't stop playing it. Uh, so I've been off camera for a little bit. I've been building up a whole bunch of resources for all the new stuff that I want to end up building in this castle eventually. Uh, we've got a couple of things I want to finish off today. I want to finally build those tables. I want to... Uh, there's a bee. There is a bee in the cave. A cave? The castle? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> okay, <laughs> steady on. Well, I mean, this just won't do, will it? We can't be having this. I'm afraid I'm going to shoot you in the face a whole bunch till you're dead. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh, no, no, no! <laughs> Ow, you stupid thing. Oh, my stupid food bar's gone down. Why am I fighting a bee in, inside my own castle? Stop trying to break my stuff! <laughs> Did I hear something break then? Okay, let's uh, pick up the stupid thing. Oh, the stupid food thing. I hate this update that they did with the food thing. That means that you... Basically, if you fall too low on food, you're just vulnerable to everything. Oh, I broke my mask as well now. Did anything else break? I thought I heard something break generally on the ground. Everything's been damaged a little bit because of the stupid... Pollen attack they have. So right, so there you go. There we started. <laughs> well, loads I want to do today. Already having a tough time of it. Right, uh, we're into the night time. We'll quickly sleep. We'll just get through the... Uh, I don't know why I ate my food. Then I probably should have slept first before having my food. But there we go. Uh, so yeah, I've been doing a bit of stuff off camera. I have got myself a whole bunch of, uh, of resources and stuff to help us do some of the building stuff. Because there's going to be a lot of building we want to do today. I also want to go and check out some interesting ideas people have had. There's a feather. Give me all the feathers. Because feathers in this game are so hard to come across. For anyone who watched the last episode, as we were building the king's quarters up on top of there, how many issues I had trying to find feathers anywhere in this game. The drop rate is pretty awful. So as I said in the last episode, we did build this. Uh, I've been having a little bit of a play around. I don't know if I like this. I was thinking about adding a, uh, a sort of escape route and having the, uh, the zip lines go down that I could get to, to different areas. The only problem is I realised that everywhere that I want to go from here <laughs> either hits one of my towers or goes straight through the big bird. So, not sure about that one. I may have to change that at some point today. Uh, at some point, we are going to go and get ourselves a pet. That's something I really want to try and do today. Uh, so, we'll come in here. So, I've had a little re rearrange in here from probably the last video you will have seen. I've added a couple of things that I thought I was just going to mess about with. So, I've got... Uh, eight, well now nine feathers that'll be useful. Uh, oh, I got some spoiled meat in there apparently. Uh, so we want to finish off the bed because the bed is something that I didn't get to do last episode, which was annoying. Um, I've changed the, the sort of storage system around. It was a little bit too cramped in here. And I thought of this as an idea, which I quite like the idea of that you basically get to have like shelves. And I thought that looked really cool. So we thought we'd move that around. Uh, I've put some ladybug armor on. I put as a shield, a sword. And our mint mallet up there. That way if someone came and attacked, you could just quickly run over here and go over here. Boom, swap out to a sword. You know, you can swap out your weapons super quick. If you didn't have any armor on, you swap into full armor. You get your sword, your shield, your mallet, whatever you want to. Uh, and I thought that was a little bit of fun. Um, I am going to build these as well. And this was just more of a sort of decor thing uh, for anyone who likes their, like, interesting ideas. So what I wanted to do is basically add these little stinger spear things that you have. I can't remember what they're called. Little hooks. Have these. And then you've got over here one of the pillars. But I thought it looked like a block of wood. And I thought in medieval times what happened with, you know, sieges that were going in a castle, someone attacks, you pick up a big chunk of wood and you lay it across the door to try and block off the entryway. And I thought this was quite a cool way of sort of representing that. Of course, it's not functional at all, uh, but I thought it'd be, uh, be fun to do. So we'll quickly try and grab all of this stuff. And there is a couple more things I want to move on to today. In fact, let's build this, uh, this house out here first, because that's something I want to do. Because that at least allows us now to get a pet. I'm not sure if we do any of this. Oh, use? How do we use this? No pets live here. That is true. Okay, so we need to go get a pet today. Um, that's something I want to do. Um, I have also gone and grabbed a bunch of resources. So I want to go back down the stairs. Let's finish off building off everything in that room that I had set up. Okay, let's place that there. Let's just grab a couple of pieces of grass. I don't think I need super much. I think I actually need one piece. I probably brought a little bit too much here. So, uh, but I thought this was a nice little way of doing uh, like shelving. Oh, I actually needs two to do that one. We'll drop that over there. Uh, and we can just build ourselves some things over here. I don't have any rope. I actually don't know if I have any rope. And we'll grab some of these pieces of wood, and then that way we can build this bad boy. Do, 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 do. There we go. So now if someone was coming to attack us, you close this. You pick up your piece of wood, you lay it across the door. Boom, sealed off. Fire some arrows out some windows. Mess about with some people. Uh, and you can pretty much just camp out in here. I did... Oh, I didn't mean to pick... Oh, nope. Oh, okay, I broke everything. <laughs> 
classic uh, Mad Dragon maneuver there, just pressing too many buttons at one time. Where's the uh, little basket here? Oh, of course, now I don't have enough clovers because I broke that. Anyway, that's how it's going to look. Have a little bit of shelving. I have also now added a fireplace in here, uh, just so that you can uh, cook some food if you were locked in here for a little while. Uh, we probably want to add something to do with water as well. The only problem is there isn't a lot of sources for water in this game. You either have to find the uh, the sort of dew drops as you're running around, or you basically have the... Uh, the sort of water net thing, I can't remember what it was called, I can't even find it now. The dew collector, yes, I, I, apart from those two things, there isn't really a lot of ways to get water, you can't... I was going to add maybe one of those big buckets in, but I'd have to sort of drag water up here, there's no other cool ways of doing that. So, I'm not sure about that, we'll try and figure out something along there. Still not 100% sure about this whole escape route, what I was going to do is build a ladder on the uh, on the back over here. Um, I'm not sure how much that takes two two resets. And that way, if you were if you were getting attacked, you were getting overrun. You could get out, you could climb the ladder, and you could zip line outside of the castle. The only problem is that it does seem to bump into quite a lot of things. So we're not too sure about uh, about that one. But for now, the room's looking good. But like I said, if anyone does have any other ideas, make sure to uh, drop it down in the comments. I might add something on there or on the back of the uh, back of the wall. I'm still not sure what I want to. Uh, what I want to do with that. Right, let's move on from doing uh, this sort of building. Ooh, we'll take a little thing down here. Um, right, next thing I want to check out. Someone suggested using the magnifying glass to make the charcoal. Now, I'm not sure how we're going to do this. I'm going to take uh, a rock with me. I'm going to take a little grass fiber thing with me. Um, and we're just going to go see if we could do something with this. I might even take a weed stem as well, just for the sake of it. Uh, just to see if we can get it to work. Let's go out here. Hopefully no one's going to attack me. Uh, I did off camera have a, uh, a massive fight between <laughs> a bee and a mosquito. And uh, I did upload the uh, the video to the, the grounded sort of channel that they have on the go. There was a bit of a fight for dominance in the skies. It was a lot of fun to watch. I'll try and splice that in. Hopefully so that uh, you guys can watch it right. It doesn't look like the magnifying glass at the minute is actually working properly. So what I'll do, let's just jump down here for now. Bloop, there we go. Oh, there's the weed stem. Right, so the magnifying glass sort of hits the sun over here somewhere. It doesn't look like I can see where it's actually going to do it. So if I just drop this down here, and my theory is if I just put all this stuff here, we'll test to see if we can maybe set the grass on fire. Maybe it'll set the rock on fire and make it into charcoal. That'll be interesting. So I'm going to leave them there. We'll see how that gets and we'll come back around to that. I did also read in the patch notes, let's jump down here, oh, whoosh, uh, <laughs> that in uh, one of the patch notes, people were actually complaining to uh, Obsidian and the developers of, uh, of Grounded. They were saying, oh, guys, you, um, we can't get any more of the charcoal chunks, which is one thing I've complained about a lot. Uh, since they did that Shroom and Doom update, you've only been able to make two ovens to make the bricks. Um, and I believe they've mentioned now that it could actually have been patched in that there might be more charcoal chunks over there. And what's happened is in the last four videos I've mentioned about going and seeing whether they fix that and have just never done it. So I thought we'll go over there quickly and we'll go see if they've actually fixed that and then that way you guys know and you can go get some yourselves if they have fixed it. Doesn't look like it right. Doesn't look like they fixed that. They did say in, it was 10.2 they actually mentioned this uh, being patched in. Um, or was it the 10.3 roadmap I had a look at? Um, and they were saying basically what they want to do is have it so that at all times there is one charcoal chunk that respawns and it respawns every eight in-game days uh now i haven't been over here in i don't even know about 60 in-game days probably by now uh it doesn't look like it so maybe that's not been fixed um that's a bit of a shame uh because i'm sure a lot of people who haven't done quite as much as me in terms of building the whole mushroom castle things will probably want to get more ovens than just two uh, it's one thing I've enjoyed doing with this game a lot is not actually like sporadically doing everything when they do a new update I don't like to just do everything in one video You know and, and sort of film for five hours and cram it all into a half hour video I like taking my time. I like chilling out I like seeing what the new things have to offer Experimenting with them with a bit. We've done a couple of the big builds now with a castle I like leaving the videos a bit longer and they sort of like 40 maybe an hour long sometimes um, And you guys seem to really enjoy that as well grounded as one of the few series that has had a lot of sort of content in terms of of uh, comments and stuff coming from you guys, which is a lot of fun. I really enjoy it that you guys get to interact a little bit. I do try and do my best to keep on top of comments. I just suck at it. Uh, that tends to be the only negative uh, in that transaction. Right, so we can't do anything to do with the charcoal chunk. We're going to see if the magnifying glass is going to work. In fact, I can see smoke over there now. So we'll go check that out. Um, we also want to see about getting a pet. Now, I did think about this off camera a little bit. And as much as I do kind of want to get one of the weevils... Um, the weevils are like all the way over there, and I have no idea how I would possibly get a weevil back safely. 
Now, by this grass down here, there are a couple of aphids that spawn, so I think I'm going to have a go at getting an aphid. Uh, but the only problem is going to be getting it up that staircase and getting it all the way around there. Um, I have no idea how sort of clever the pets are in terms of following one. If you remember a few episodes back, we actually did make an aphid into a pet at the original base. And uh, I think I just let him die. Um, I'm not really sure what happened to him. He didn't have a home. He didn't have anywhere to go. So we'll have a go and we'll see how we get on. But first of all, I want to go and check out the... Uh, that magnifying glass up there to see if we can do something with a charcoal trick. In fact, there you go. There's an aphid right there. There you go. That would have been a good one to have got if only I had the slurry ready to hand. In fact, that's something sensible I should probably do is actually start making some of the uh, some of the stuff here so we can get the grass. What is the club? I didn't know that the um, the sprigs did something. What did the sprigs make, guys? I had no idea about that. I'm going to put some sprigs in. We'll see what sprigs make. That turns into... It turns sprigs into grass fiber. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, <laughs> there you are. Small update for any guys who didn't know uh, know that. That's a new one to me. Uh, hello, Mr. B. You don't need to fight me. I'm just going to be over here. Right, let's have a look. Let's see if we can get to, into, uh, to get in there. Nope. Wrong button. There we go. Right. Let's chuck the stick on there. Let's see if the weed stem does anything. Uh, doesn't look like it. How am I going to do this one? Uh, drop. <laughs> I don't even know where it is. <laughs> I can't even see. White. It doesn't look like anything's really happening with that. Uh, and we'll just finally try one of the, uh, one of the plant fibers just to see if that does anything as well. Let's drop it in. Uh, does it look like anything's happening, guys? Ow, 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 ow. I'm getting injured. That's what's happening. <laughs> uh, doesn't look like... Anything's doing it how we want to here. Okay, doesn't look like we're going to be super successful there, but I did think that was a good idea. Someone did drop this down in the comments to uh, to try out, and you know what? I actually thought this would be quite a cool way, especially with the with the pebblets. That thing is dangerous. <laughs> as soon as that hits you, you just start dying. Um, yeah, I thought it would have been cool if you could have put the pebblet in, and then it could have maybe you know, lit it into like a charcoal, and maybe you'd have a limited amount of time to get it to. Uh, to use it as something to use to build. Doesn't look like it. It's a bit of a shame, but it's always nice that people add it into the comments for uh, for me to try out, because I do enjoy a bit of the old uh, experimentation. I am so close to death. Uh, I'm actually going to use one of these uh, one of these bandages I made. Um, I actually didn't realise how useful bandages are in this game until it came to doing that broodmother fight that we did. And, uh, yeah, bandages are really good. It's just a shame they've sort of nerfed them a bit. They Look how slowly they heal you. I used to remember the bandages used to do a lot. They just used to be quite expensive to make in terms of resources. But the bandage plus is something like one grass fiber and one sap. If you have a base near the tree, just make like a hundred of them. It's really easy to do. Oh, that's interesting. So if you put the sprigs in, they turn into the plant fiber and then automatically get re-added back into be turned into uh, some of the, the sort of plant fiber goop that you can use to do... Uh, Stuff for the the aphids and stuff. That's quite nice. I quite like that. So you, you don't have to just go and find plant fiber. I don't know why you would use a sprig instead of that. I imagine a plant fiber is much easier to find than sprigs just generally. But uh, there we are. Right, let's jump down here. Let's see if we can find ourselves an aphid. Oh, this is a stupid ant. <laughs> I can hear noises. I'm like, oh, I found one. Nope, it's a stupid ant. Walk around over here. Yeah. Aphid. Yes. Go to the food. Yes! Don't know where that wolf spider is. Hopefully these are not going to come over here. Oh, there's another one. Can we get two pets from one bowl? I got a new pet, Avid. Hello, Mr. Avid. Right. Let's pet you. Look how adorable you are. Right. How am I going to get you to my house? Are you just going to follow me? Yes. Yes, good. Let's go. Let's walk. Walk with me, Aphid. Yes, here we go. Right. Now, you need to be careful on the staircase. <laughs> I can already see it going terribly wrong. Come on. How are you with stairs? Because <laughs> this could be an issue if you're not very good at stair. Okay, you missed the stairs. Yes, yes. Come around. Come around here. Okay. I wonder if they do anything to like teleport them to you maybe what if I walk diagonally no he keeps wanting to walk around the stairs in fact you're almost specifically avoiding the stairs it feels like he's already on the big rock 
Maybe he'll be, maybe, <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, Pet 1. <laughs> We've moved on to bigger and better things with Pet 2. Because he's already on the big rock. And now we just need to get him onto that staircase. Because uh, you, you failed. Hello. Why, 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 no, why are you not my friend? I fed you. You backstabber. Right. <laughs> Back to Pet 1. Yes, yeah, 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 yes, 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 yes. Go up the stairs. No, I fed. <laughs> Damn thing. Uh, oh, I mean, that already doesn't look good. How would I ever get him up there? Uh, this has become a bit of an issue, guys. If you can't get your aphids up high, I wonder why you can't, like, choose to have them, like, follow you or have them, like, teleport to you. How would you ever get them up to a higher area if you... Uh, does that mean you have to build the, the pet houses down on the ground? That's a bit of a shame if you do. I would quite like that if you could assign a pet to a house and then just teleport them to the house and then that way you'd be able just to, you know, get to them whenever you need to or if you if you lost them. Let's see if we can assign him real quickly to this one. Pet detected. Deposit pet. Oh, you can rename them? No pets live here. I don't understand. It says to... I assign a pet to the house. And then... You press yes. And then it just goes, uh... Oh. Yeah, there actually isn't one assigned to here. <laughs> like, why, why, do, why is it so weirdly broken? So this one isn't my friend. Does that mean... Is that because there's... Still an aphid that's my pet somewhere? I just don't know where he is. And I have no way of finding him. Okay, the pet system's not great. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is this is a bit bizarre. So you can't get pets to go to higher altitudes. You've pretty much got to build a, a pet, like, house at ground level. It looks like the, the system needs to be refined a bit. It's not... It, it's a little bit sketchy. Uh, you know, th th there's a lot of negatives to go with that pet thing. That's a real shame, because that was one of the big things people were calling for, was having pets in the game and being able to tame the the, the actual creatures and stuff. Um, I thought that was going to be a lot of fun. Looks like we can't do that. Build ourselves um, tables. We also need another grass plank for that one. There we go. Right, what do the chairs take? Uh, sprigs and all this good stuff. Right, let's just sort of... Where are you? Do, do, do. Oh, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. Let's stand back up and pick up my grass that I just threw down. There we go. And we'll finish up with you. We need... One of those. Do, 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 do. Okay, we'll quick build you. And okay, we only need one more rope for that one acorn shell for that. That's fine. Because uh, I think I have some acorn shells. Yes, I do. Uh, not sure about the rope. Don't know if I'm going to have enough for the rope, but that's fine. We can uh, build the final table. So there we are, guys. So this is what we're going to do is have like a whole uh, little banquet sitting area. This is where you can just take a seat. You can judge, you can have a little look around the room. If there's some dancing, there's a trial, there's anything going on. You just boom. <laughs> so the king can sit on his throne while everyone else judges. He's much more relaxed. Max is, is sort of like this. You know, he doesn't need all that nonsense. Um, I did also have these little hooks here. Um, I thought it was going to be cool to maybe design like a, like almost like a drawbridge style thing. Uh, but it turns out you can't actually mount a hook to a hook. I thought maybe that could have been quite fun. You could have one anchor point to one anchor point, but it looks like these things can only receive the uh, the sort of lines rather than actually, um, you know, sort of create them like you can do with the uh, the zip line anchors. Um, and someone actually did also mention a, a crossbow in the game, which I had no idea of, uh, which I'm just going to go have a look now. Uh, oh, there is a crow crossbow. Oh my goodness, six feather pieces. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> uh, okay, well, that'll be one to be uh, looking into a little bit, actually, because, you know, I like all my uh, some medieval-y things. We, uh, we might have a look at that uh, when we eventually have enough crow feathers. I don't believe I've ever seen such a lack of aphids ever in this game before. I have been searching for about <laughs> ten minutes. I haven't seen a single aphid in all of this grass where there's normally like hundreds of them running about. They really annoy me normally when I'm back at this base because they always run inside my base and run around underneath it and keep chirping and making noises. And like, there isn't a single aphid. What's going on? There's a weevil. Screw it. We're taking a weevil. <laughs> well, let's, 
I said originally I wanted a weevil. Maybe a weevil will do us better than a stupid aphid would anyway. Right. Mr. Weevil. Where have you gone, sir? There he is. Weevil. Look, Weevil. Weevil, stop walking away from me. Weevil snuffling along here. Yes. But come, my friend. Why are you not my pet? I do not understand this. Where? How do I get a new pet? <laughs> I don't have one. There's nothing on my screen. There isn't anything anywhere. I'm just slowly feeding this guy more and more mushroom slurries. There's another one of my mushroom slurries. Do you want... Are you be my pet now? Will you be my friend? How do I... How do I make him my friend, guys? I have... What is with this pet system? This is awful. <laughs> I just... I don't have a pet by the side of me. There isn't a pet icon on the map. I can't assign one to a house and I can't get another one. What What is up with this? Why, why is it so complicated? Why is it not just... If you give one food, it becomes your pet and it just follows you. Bizarre complicated system. Well, sorry guys, looks like we're uh, we're just not going to be able to do this today because for whatever reason the game has decided you just can't. I, 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 I'm absolutely bemused by that idea. I managed to get the aphid pet, but he couldn't climb upwards. You can't get a second one, but I don't believe I still have my first one. Do they stop being your friends over time? Do you have to wait a certain amount of time in game? It's been like a full 24 hours now since we had the other pet. Okay. Special treats of wild bugs for a chance to befriend them. Oh, it's only a chance. Oh, wow. So it's not 100%. So you could literally give a, a bug a bunch of slurries before they actually become your friend. I don't like that. That's that's awful. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of things that could be better with this pet system, guys. I'm not going to lie. Uh, that's obstructed. Let's just move you a little bit here. Uh, we're going to quickly build some castle walls. We'll slowly build up these walls. And this way we can build a little uh, little dog house out the back. It's going to be like a big kennel. That basically is what we're going to do here. And we'll just have to hope at some point we're going to be able to actually grab a pet. Because uh, it's not been the best so far. Uh, we'll move the little water jug back as well. He can have some water. There we go. He can grab water whenever he wants to now. Oh, there we go. I uh, know. Don't build it completely because I still need to get him in. But I could do that and I could just hop in and out. Then there we go. Right. So let's see if we can go find that stupid weevil again. <laughs> okay. That's my final slurry. I, he will have now eaten six successfully after this one. If he's still not my pet, I don't know what more I can do at this point. What's wrong with this system? Why is it so flawed? Oh, this is this is horrendous. Right, guys. It looks like we're not going to do the pet. What we'll do... Um, we've now built the, uh, the little house, at least. Um, so, at least when we eventually get a pet, um, we'll be able to, to do something with it. We're going to leave that not quite built yet, just so I can get something actually in here. Well, right. There we go. Right. So, we've now got a bit more of a floor. So, at least if we can get something up here... Uh, we can get it onto the onto the platform and then we can lock them in here forever uh, Seeing as nothing can get up here. Uh, yeah, looks like we're not gonna be able to do the pets Which is unfortunate. There's definitely something that needs to be reworked in that system. Nope still didn't work I I don't know guys. It's 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 a very odd system If any of you guys have managed to get the uh, the pet system to work and work flawlessly um, Make sure you drop it down in the comments what I am doing wrong because I, I really don't know Alrighty guys, so for you it will have only been about two seconds ago, in fact you're probably even in the middle of a video, but for me it's been an entire week, I actually stepped away from this game, I've been away for a week, uh, and I finished editing <laughs> the first part of this video, and it ended up with just being me ranting and raving and talking about how broken the pet system was, which it is, which it is Obsidian, uh, <laughs> so I thought it wasn't a particularly fun way to end the video off, so I've come back and I thought, oh, I'll add some stuff onto the end, I'll do a bit of a different ending to what I normally do, I'll uh, add a sort of part two into one video, make it a little bit longer for you guys. I did like three hours worth of filming to get the first half hour of this video. Um, but I didn't know what I was going to do, what I was going to add to. So I've come back from being on holiday uh, to find out there is now talk about the update 11 point 
Oh, this is going to be the Sizzle update. And uh, one of the big things coming out of this update, as many of you have been very helpful in saying down in the comments, you put it on loads of different crafted videos, basically saying, Mad Dragon, your castle is screwed, which it is. Um, if I can do, I'll try and splice in some images here of what we've seen uh, from IGN and from uh, uh, the actual Obsidian team talking about what 11.0 uh, is going to be bringing. It's going to be bringing a whole bunch of updates towards the sand pit, uh, towards the haze area, and finally, the most important one, they are adding a bunch of things onto the picnic table, which is going to be very non-useful for me, because of course I have a giant castle, <laughs> which I have spent well over a year in this game developing and slowly building and having to get loads of resources for. I have made tons of videos, we had the beehive added, it has been the most popular video on the channel ever, where after the, uh, the, the beehive was added and we talked about the castle and going through it, and I have said in so many videos to the developers not to add anything to this picnic table, and here we are. So it's going to be happening. Uh, they're going to be adding a bunch of stuff to this table and basically ruining my castle. I have no idea what it's going to do to the uh, the castle itself. I don't know whether it's going to maybe break the save file, break the game. Uh, if there's just going to be things stuck inside of walls. Uh, we knew this day would come at some point and it is now slowly arriving upon us. So it's in preview at the minute. It's really hard to gauge by looking at the videos and stuff that people have done and having a quick look at the previews and stuff just quite how big the things are going to be and where they're going to be located on the table. But they're definitely going to at some point encroach on the castle. There seems to be a bit of like rubbish, a little toy castle thing they're going to be adding there. Not wanting to do drop too many story spoilers for you guys who don't want to know what they're going to be adding. Uh, but what we do know is that the castle is currently in massive jeopardy. So what I'm going to do to end this video is work out... I guess what we need to save in, in many regards, because there are a lot of resources here, there's a lot of important things. Um, I can't believe things are going to be this high. Maybe they will be? I'm not really sure. The top floor of the castle might actually be okay. Um, in which case, I can try and remain, leave some of these things, and there might just be a whole bunch of stuff added down below. I'm not sure how it will affect the bricks and stuff, so I'm pretty much coming over here now. Uh, that's new. <laughs> I didn't leave you floating up there. We might as well talk. Why has it been spoiled? Why is it not cooked? Um, so I, I'm not really sure what to take or what to do. But we basically want to try and get some of these uh, more precious resources out. A couple of people have said I might want to start breaking down some of the feathers. Because the crow feathers are going to be a bit of a nightmare anyway to regain. And if I break them all down now, at least I might be able to get the crow feather pieces back. Um, whereas, you know, some of the buildings and stuff like this roof could be inside like a big bucket or something and I'll never be able to get them back. And I'm not really sure what to do, um, because I like this castle how it is, but unfortunately it looks like it will be broken. So the two most important things to me to get out of here are going to be these uh, kilns or these sort of oven things because so far I still, as far as I'm aware, you can only make two in the game there. Of course, earlier in the episode we will have gone through and seen that there are no charcoal chunks over there. I've gone and looked myself before carrying on this episode. Um, we can't make more, so I'm going to put these out on the ledge because I'm guessing that... If they're out on this ledge, I'm guessing they're not really moving the table as such. Um, but more, they're just going to add stuff onto the table. I haven't seen anything overflowing. So realistically, the bridge and everything over there should be fine. Should be, <laughs> in quotation marks, because uh, we can never tell what the uh, what the, the developers are going to do with it. But I definitely want to remove these from here, just in case these get stuck inside. Because if you can't make more charcoal chunks, we won't be able to make more bricks and do any more buildings in the future. I'm really hoping things fit quite nicely around the castle that wouldn't be too bad and then it could actually just be a bit of a an interior and if anything i'm then ahead of the game when they actually release this because i've got a way up to the table um i've seen a bit of footage around the, there's going to have to be new ways to get up to the table things to do with like a shovel um so th there's going to be new ways to get up i will already have a bridge to get up hopefully this won't be broken i don't know if they're going to move the table if you remember we did have an episode way back in like 8.2 where they move the table and that's why we have the floor missing <laughs> over there i'm sort of hoping they do the same thing and move the uh the table further down and that way my entire castle will be safe. Uh, what else do we need to save in here guys? We need to have a real big think about this. 
Okay, I guess some of the other things we're going to want to be able to save is going to be the actual resources. Uh, because they're a nightmare to get up here in the first place, especially at the weed stems. Weed stems are a bit hard to get up here. The grass pallets aren't too bad. Uh, but if you're wondering why I'm doing this all at night, it's just so I don't have bees constantly attacking me. When you move things using this uh, sort of blueprint movement scheme they do, uh, as soon as you get attacked or uh, you enter like a danger phase, you have to reset where the things were. I don't want to keep doing that. Stay over there, B. Stay over there, B. <laughs> don't think I can't see you coming over here, encroaching on my territory. Right, look at all these grass pallets. Right, let's get these grass pallets out of here as well. Because I do not want all these things to get destroyed and have to do it again. Don't attack me, B. I'm just going this way. Ah, you stupid bee. <laughs> so as you can see, it had to replace itself then. Okay, let's... Uh, We've now got our fight with a bee, which I did not want to do. There we go. Right, bee down. Nope, you don't need to be involved with this bee. Look at this guy. <laughs> do the Harlem shake. <laughs> oh, I thought I could get a quick swing on him. Right, that's me dead. <laughs> Stupid bees. Uh, right, okay, let's just take... Oh, let's move out the way, bed. Right. Let's uh, move this over here. In fact, that's going to be another thing we're going to need to do. We're going to need to move the bed. Because if... Uh, where's my bag? <laughs> Please don't tell me my bag has fallen off the edge. Because that is going to be a nightmare to get back if it has. Where's my bag? There's my bag. Nope, that's... No! Look where my bag's gone! <laughs> He's... Stupid bees. Oh my goodness, it's gone miles! Why is it all the way over here? What on earth did he hit me with to blow it all the way over here? That's ridiculous. Okay, we swapped to daytime. <laughs> it's a little bit easier to for you guys to see. Right, we're going to need to move this stuff out as well. Uh, you don't need to fight me, bees. Uh, the other thing is I might actually run out of room over here, which I'm really hoping I don't. Um, I might have to try and expand my floor out a bit because I feel like I could run out of room um, on this little side bit over here. Can I, like, <laughs> put that on there? Uh, can I still build grass out here? Does this still work? I have no idea. Does this need to be supported technically over on this side? We can have a look. Maybe it'll be uh, a bit more useful. I can actually use some of my grass as well, just in case it all disappears. Stay away from me, B. Uh, make sure that's not touching. Alrighty, guys, I've been moving some stuff as a crow lands. I will take your feather because <laughs> we'd have no idea how hard it's going to be to get crow feathers once they do their, uh, their next update. I've been moving all the stuff. I've been putting it all up there. I've even extended it a bit out there. Um, I didn't notice if you move these things that uh, <laughs> water droplets hang here forever. I'm actually wondering whether or not you could glitch this game to have the water droplet thing and then once it's full, move it along a bit and then move it along a bit and then move it along a bit and you'd slowly just build up a load of water droplets that would never disappear. Uh, <laughs> whether you could try and cheat the game into having a really good water supply just slowly build up for you. Um, we've still got a little bit of resources and stuff in here. I have no idea what survive in here. Maybe we should move some of the armor sets. To be honest, I have most of these armor sets multiple times. Um, I might move the spider one. The spider one's a little bit irritating just in case it has the... Uh, the wolf spider fangs that need to be used. Um, I don't believe anything will be this high. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm going to put my armor in here that I want to keep <laughs> sort of safe, I guess we could say. And just hope nothing gets built in here. Uh, if worse comes to worse, we can chisel through some of the blocks. Um, I really just want to try and save as many resources as possible. And I imagine most areas won't be, like, inside. The only thing I'm worried about is they have the sort of, like, cans of pop. The, like, uh, I can't remember what they call them in, um, in this game. Like, the puncho canisters. And, uh, if something is inside one of them, we won't be able to get the resources back from it. But hopefully the stuff will actually survive. So, we're just going to keep going here for a little bit. I just thought I'd jump in for a second. Look at this bird. Flailing about, knocking bees about, loving it. Oh, this guy's going to want to fight me, isn't he? Leave me alone. You don't need to fight me. Let me grab this. Oh, I can't walk any more forwards because of the wings of the bird. Don't fight me, don't fight me, don't fight me. Don't fight me, don't fight me. 
keep going. So yeah, I didn't want to build the bridge anymore this way, mainly because if the bird was going to break anything landing this way. So I've built more outwards over here. <laughs> so I'm going to keep a little treasure trove over here so that when they do the new updates, uh, we will have everything to hand over here so that at least we can do something. Um, it looks like we're unfortunately never going to be able to get a pet up here. Unless, unless, oh no, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck in invisible walls. Maybe when they do the new update, they will add um, aphids and weevils up here. I've already seen big talking points about ants, um, including some black ants. That might be fun to uh, to see what they do with that. So maybe they'll be able to tame an ant or something. We might be able to use the doghouse up here, but uh, it may not be super useful. We'll slowly try and move some of this stuff. I might even just put it up here. Um, I don't know if I have any particularly rare resources, but I feel like if they're up here, shouldn't they be safe? Maybe? Maybe I should put them on top of the actual, uh, towers. Can I put it up, like, on here? <laughs> Can I try and get- Oh, where did that go? I put it somewhere. Oh, I put it inside. Okay. So maybe you, won't, you can't put them on the roofs, uh, but it might be a place just to store some of the, uh, some of these things, because these do have, this is taking quite a while to get uh, all these little resources up here, all the little bug parts and what have you. Uh, so what I thought we'd do is we'll finish off trying to move this stuff to higher ground, like avoiding the flood in Noah's Ark. We're, <laughs> we're trying to save as many things as we can. Um, and what I'll do is I'll build as much stuff as I can higher up so that we can still get to it in the future. And then what we might do is we might run over to Burgle just to see if he's got any more challenges for us. Because, of course, one thing that we will need at some point will be... Uh, needing to get more burgle points. I have no doubt there'll be new burgle chips. I have no doubt there'll be new unlocks for us to do. So we better go and find out what burgle has to offer as well. So we'll go check out that before we end off this video. Okay, I've officially managed to move everything from outside the castle. So now, when they make that update happen, uh, we will basically have all of our stuff out there. So we should still be able to get to it, provided that nothing gets damaged or smashed. Um, I am still going to have some stuff down here. To be honest, I can make more ant tables. I don't really care about those resources. Um, and the armor, I have like nine sets of. We better sit in our chair, potentially for the last time, and look over our kingdom. Before it disappears into the future, I have no idea when the 11.0 update is going to be. But by the time I get around to doing another episode, because I have so many videos and so many other things going on, uh, I will no doubt have already come out. So... Say goodbye potentially to the castle, guys. We will, of course, wait for that 11.0 update to come out. And we'll see uh, how much damage it does and what gets destroyed and stuff. Um, if worst comes to worst, hopefully we can still be able to grab a couple of resources. Everything is up the top. So one of the final things we're going to do before we leave here today is I am going to go in here and unset the respawn point. Now, because I did consider the idea of what happens if I die, respawn here... And it's inside like a can of soda. And I'm stuck forever and I soft lock myself in the game. So not wanting it to happen. Let's that take this other little dew drop here. We're going to leave that there just so we know where our bed originally was. We're going to head back over to the other base. We'll set that as the respawn point from now on. Um, at least until the 11.0 update comes out. Because then at least we'll, uh, <laughs> we know we're safe when we respawn. Um, I'm really looking forward to see this update they're going to do with the sand castle. I haven't really seen a lot from it. Um, I've just seen little images and short snippets of what's going to be planned and happening. Maybe they'll move the table more over there. Maybe they'll move the sand castle more over here. Maybe some more stuff's going to happen there. Don't know what's going to happen to all those stairs. Um, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I really enjoy when they do their big updates. I know it's going to be sad that we may potentially lose this magnificent castle that took <laughs> about a year of building to do because it took me so long through so many episodes. But we will scoot back down. Let's turn around and say goodbye to the castle as potentially for the last time we will ever get to see it in all its glory uh, before it's taken over by trash and other stuff. They might be doing some of the, uh, the magnifying glass as well. We'll go reset the spawn point over here and we will go see Burgle about potentially any quests he's got on the go just to see if we can build up any more raw science. Ooh, we avoided him barely sort of sneaking across. Okay, so there's our other house that we made. Uh, oh, it was this episode, I guess, for you guys. For me, it was a week ago. <laughs> so let's head over here to our stupid looking uh, tent bed as opposed to our cool fluffy bed. I wasn't going to be able to bring it all the way over here. We'll set that as our new respawn point and uh, in the next episode, we'll go and have a look Oh, what's going to happen to that thing? I don't even know. All right, so let's quickly head off to see Burgle just so I can... In fact, I think I have a couple of challenges already uh, already going. I forgot to actually check that quest. 
Uh, Bombardier Beetle, that's quite difficult to do. And the Ant Arm Guards. I wonder if I can just build those real quick just to get a bit more raw science. I have no idea what the uh, the challenges and stuff are going to be in the uh, in the new update. I'm not sure if we're going to have any new uh, new things to buy and how much they'll cost. Uh, Ant Arm Guards, we need one more Might Fuzz. Do I not have one stinking Might Fuzz <laughs> that I can just use to build this thing? Anything over here? Uh, nope, nothing there. Nothing in there. Looks like I can't build the uh, the ant guards, but at least I'll uh, be able to do that. Hopefully, quite early in the uh, in the next episode, we'll do that next time, just to get some more raw science. I don't know what we're working with at the minute, actually. Uh, I've got eight and a half thousand, so that should hopefully be allowed us to buy whatever the next thing. Normally, when they do a big update. They add in new building equipment and stuff, and they can cost normally like maybe 6,000. So, unless they add more than one thing, um, it's probably going to be likely we'll be able to uh, buy whatever new uh, building update they do, hopefully. Depending on if they add, of course, they could add like five new items you could build, and then it's going to cost like 30,000 raw science. Um, I have seen talk about there being uh, like stats and stuff now. So you have to go and find special equipment to up your uh, your personal stats, which could be fun. Um, and we'll see how that changes the game mode a bit. Any work for me, Burgle? Let's quickly get that. I'm actually going to get rid of this Bombardier Beetle. They're a little bit annoying to go around and find. So let's go to that quickly and craft a Might Hat. So basically, I need a bunch of, uh, of Might Fuzz. Uh, but that's where we're going to call it a day for today, guys. In the next episode, uh, we might try the pet thing again. Um, depending on what people can drop down in the comments in this video, because I still need to learn about what's wrong with this pet system. I still couldn't get it to work at any point. Rewatching the video, I was howling with laughter about how dumb I was and couldn't get any of the pet stuff to work. Still no idea what I was doing wrong, but uh, maybe you guys can drop down in the uh, in the comments how to fix some of that. And of course, by the time we get round to doing the next episode, it could well be the 11.0 update, meaning... The castle may be gone, it may be destroyed, it may be broken down into bits, it may still be there, just surrounded by whatever comes out with the new update. It's going to be a lot of fun, there's going to be a lot to look at. Uh, oh, they've re-added the, uh, the jack-o'-lantern! I didn't uh, notice they re-added that, that's quite fun. Um, I used to really enjoy when they did that at, uh, at Halloween, and then they did the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, like the Frankenstein head drawing thing that was the last thing they did of that as well oh that'd be cool let's uh, let's zip line over there um but yeah hopefully they'll do this uh, this 11.0 update and people will enjoy it i really have tried to avoid looking into it as best as i can as you guys will know if you followed this series for a long time i enjoy getting in and learning everything as i'm going rather than having all the spoilers and just smashing it out and then seeing what you guys can come up with in the comments in order to try and help me learn about what i need to improve and stuff yes i know you're hungry max get over it <laughs> Stupid food bar. That was the worst update they ever did in this game, was adding that half food bar equals half water thing. Um, but let's slide down here. We'll go have a look at the jack o -Landa. But if you have enjoyed this episode today, guys, make sure you drop this video a like. And if you want to keep up to date with Grounded and uh, however my castle ends up, make sure you subscribe to the channel just to keep up to date with all the latest videos as they come out. But I hope you've all enjoyed today, guys, and will join me for the next one where we find out just how damaging... The 11.0 update will be. I'll see you all next time, guys. Bye-bye.